Hi everyone, welcome to Amazing Women's World. In this video, I'll show you how to do this classic collar princess cut, full back high neck drop neckline boss. This is the most requested video by one of my subscribers. I found it interesting, so I thought of doing this. For this project, I'll be using the color and curry printed cotton fabric, and for the piping, I'm using the same color and the net, the contrast color to that one. This is a princess cut pattern. If you are viewing this for the first time, I would request you to follow my previous video. There I have given the detailed explanation of how to cut and take the measurements. Please follow that. I would be using the same pattern for this project. Now for the base of the bodies, I would be using the Kalankari print. That means from the chest line to the waist line and from the shoulders to the chest line I would be using the net to joining the net I would be using the piping first I will do the piping place the cord in between the one and a half inches strip and start sewing this kalankari print will give immense rich look on any plain sari, patu sari or any type chiffon you may go for georgette, crepe, uppadu any, any sari it will give very pretty and rich look now I would be joining all three together that means kalankari, print, piping and the net place all the right sides draw edges together leaving quarter inch for the seaming start sewing the length of the front panel that means for the princess cut I would be taking 15 inches from shoulder line to chest line I would be taking 7 and half inches and from chest line to the waist line I would be taking 7 and half inches this includes the seaming elements. I have joined all three together. Now I will do the top stitch to secure the underneath left fabric. Place the pattern and start marking. The pattern should be marked from chest line to the waistline. Trim off accordingly on the marked lines. Following the same instructions, you can do this collar high neck pattern for the kurti, salwar, kameez or for the lehenga blouses also.
now I'll join the sides to the main part Now I'll do the top stitch. Make sure that the underneath left fabric should come to the main part, towards the main part. Now fold it into two and start marking towards the wrong side. I'll mark the neckline of neck width two and of inches and the neck deep four inches. And the neck shape I'm using for this one is U shape not exactly U or V slight variation it would be like this and place the pattern trim off mark mark and trim off near the armhole Now I'll cut in the center front to join the hook and eye straps. I would be joining the one and a half inch straps to the center front cuts to prepare the hook and eye straps. Normally we will prepare half inch for hook and eye straps but for this project I would be preparing quarter inch. It should be thin like piping.
make sure when you are folding towards the other side is secured properly when you are sewing I've done with the front side now I'll prepare the back side for that also I'm taking the length of 15 inches the net I'd be taking is 11 and a half inches and the remaining the kalankari print I'm taking is 3 and a half inches total together 15 inches I've joined this with the piping as I shown for the front panel now fold towards the wrong side and make it into two let's start marking the neck width two and a half inches and the neck tip here I will be taking is only half inch make a small curve and cut accordingly Now place the back pattern of the princess cut and mark mark the armhole and trim off accordingly. Now I will be leaving 2 and half inches from the top and I will mark drop shape. This uh, shape you can draw whatever you want but here I am using the drop shape. Trim off on the marked shape. This would look like this drop shape. For this, I'll join with the lace. All over the drop shape. And then I'll align the front and back panel to join the shoulder line. Join the lace placing on the sheep. Start sewing. This adding the lace is optional. You may also go for the piping, but I prefer to go for the lace.
now join the shoulders aligning front and back panels together leaving quarter inch for the seaming and start sewing This is how it would look. Now to prepare for the collar we need to measure from the center front all over the center back and again come back to center front. Make sure that the tape measuring tape should also bend in the curved areas here I got the length of 22 inches now I'll show you how to mark this on the interfacing fold the interfacing into two and as I said the length I got is 22 inches I would be marking half of that 11 inches and from this 11 inches I would be marking two and a half inches to the top from that two and a half inches mark towards back three inches then from that three inches mark 2.25 inches that is two quarter a slight variation that means the starting point should be two and a half inch inches and the folded area there it will be 2.25 inches and make a slanting line to the edge like a triangle this depends upon how much you want to take the triangle width I just extended a little bit this is so simple that is in the folding area it should be 2.25 inches and to the edges it should be two and a half inches and from the edge come back three inches and mark 2.25 inches till the folding area this measurements is not the standard ones you may increase the lens as per your convenience but for the best shape I would be taking this length I placed the interfacing to the wrong side and pressed it and I also take the same length of another piece place right on right fold the quarter inch of the interfacing fabric inside and start sewing exactly along with the interfacing as the interfacing measurements are exact so you should run on the interfacing
now trim off the extra fabric and also the corners make a small slits and turn to the other side Do the top stitch all around the collar. Now I'll join the bodies with the collar, place it the center front starting point and start sewing. The fold of the interfacing that means quarter inch fold it inside and join with the bodies make sure do not stretch or pull the fabric when you are sewing sew it little by little folding quarter inch inside joining through the bodies this interfacing part is the inside part of the collar the pretty side will do later after joining the inside part of the collar lock it now I'll join the pretty side of the collar fold the quarter inch and start sewing make sure that the other side collar part will not be visible ensure that it is wrinkled free and without foldings when you are sewing
and when it reaches to the edge corner front part make sure it is settled properly and lock it trim off all the extras this is how it has come see how pretty it is looking without any folds now i'll join the sides of the bodies front panel to the back panel with this if you go with the cat sleeves puff sleeves or 3/4 sleeves it will give very rich and pretty look now i'd be joining the lace to the armhole by following the same instructions you can um, sew your kurtis salwar kameez the collar part with the net will give very rich look with this i've done with the classic collar princess cut full back high neck drop neckline blouse how pretty it is looking with the piping lace and the collar the finishing of the collar has come so very well you can try this for kurtis and salwar kameez also Hope you liked it. Please try it and like it. Thanks for watching. Do stay tuned to watch more videos of latest fashions. And don't forget to subscribe, share, like, leave your comments and recommendations. Bye for now. Catch you later.